Hi folks, um, I'll, I'll be showing up in this uh, short video how to use uh, my uh, Lim uh, Lumix driver for ASCOM. Um, I'm running from a Windows PC here, uh, it's where ASCOM platform is installed. I'll also be connecting to uh, this Lum Lumix uh, G80 and I'm filming from a GH5S which I'll be showing in a few seconds also. Uh, how uh, this will work first. So in order to set this up, the best way is to um, connect uh, on the on the camera itself, connect to Wi-Fi. I'll be now connecting to uh, my home network. Uh, so I've done this before. So this is my home network uh, Wi-Fi, uh, as you would do with your typical uh, uh, connectivity with uh, any uh, image app from uh, from Linux from uh, Panasonic, sorry, to um, to co remote control the camera. Um, so now the camera is waiting for an app to connect to it and now we're running now on my PC uh, an app that will uh, make the camera believe that it's connected to an image app. So running an APT, you may recognize here. And I'm an APT, I will now tell it to use an ASCOM camera CCD driver and I'm using APT, but other uh, software will work too. I will then look for um, a camera in my browser, which is the Mix G80 here. I look for properties. Now in the properties, the driver will then look for the network, uh, look for the camera in the network. And as you may have seen here, the camera has now been detected. It also now finds the IP address of the camera and all that's left to be done is if I zoom in here you'll see a bit better um, is to set up some characteristics of this camera so um, because it's running with different uh, models of Linux uh, the 10m uh, 10 megapixel is ready for uh, the GH5S uh, uh, since I'm running the G80 I'll set up the 16 megapixel, set the ISO you want to shoot your series at, typically shoot at 800, shutter speed, best way, best to set it at bulbs so the Astro uh, photo software has full uh, control of the duration of the capture, and then here there's a capture, the, the transfer format uh, that will take the camera, the image from the camera onto the PC. Uh, so best to use JPEG, I'll explain that in a little second why to use that. And then here uh, there's obviously some um, temporary folder uh, images that will need to be stored uh, from carrying the, the image from the camera into the PC. So that's just setting up the temp folder. And if you're uh, using raw format, it will ask you also where is your DC raw uh, executable so that it will confirm those raw into TIFFs and then pass them on to the driver. You can set up the, the trace on uh, and that's it. Once you do that, the files are actually written to the profile. I'll show you that here. In fact, the profile explorer from uh, ASCOM shows that in my camera drivers, I have now set up the Lumix cameras as I've just set them up right now. And that's it, we're ready to take a shoot. So uh, this doesn't do any um, live view. It's ASCOM doesn't uh, perform any live view uh, settings. Uh, but uh, here I can just take a single shot from the, ca from the driver. And you see now the camera is just now taking a, a one second, bulb second shot here. And file is transferring over and in a second we should be seeing it appearing into, there you go, into my um, APT. I can then uh, try and change things around. I can also go directly to the settings menu without disconnecting or connecting uh, and reopen the um, uh, settings menu. I can then change maybe to uh, uh, you know, maybe this was overexposed, so I'll set to 200 ISO, uh, keep it bulb, and I'll show how what happens then if I go to RAW. RAW file then will transfer the files into a RAW format in the same way, and I can shoot in one second shot. And now the 
camera will then download the um, the file in raw format over to the PC and that's going to take a little longer so uh, because the raw is, is substantially larger than the JPEG uh, and uh, well it's that's the reason I may not recommend to use raw um, also at the same time uh, the camera has, uh, the sorry, the camera still holds both files, the JPEG and RAW, onto um, onto the SD card. So you don't actually need to to download the RAW file. There you go. This is the full RAW file that just happened. You see the exposure is a bit better because we changed it uh, uh, earlier on. And last setting I can show you here that we can do is to put it to a thumb uh, thumb setting that is set here. If I zoom in here on my On my setting here, you can. If I go to th there's a thumb menu here. If I do that, then instead of downloading a full size JPEG, and I'll sh change a bit the angle of my uh, camera so that you can see it won't be the exact same. Sorry, the exact, exact same shot. So now I've, I'll now take another shot, and instead of having a raw or full size JPEG, I have a thumb thumb JPEG that will be transferred over. And you see that was much faster to to get because it's uh, it's a fourteen uh, by twenty four um, file that's passed over. Uh, can show you another one. You see how much faster it is if I go change my angle here. Or shoot. Substantially faster than a raw file. So uh, there you go. Uh, simple setup to use Linux cameras with the Micro Four Thirds um, uh, sensors with a standard ASCOM suite, uh, which will allow you then to do uh, PhD dithering and all that stuff. And also uh, very useful in, in APT, uh, the use of uh, plate solving. All right, so um, I swapped the cameras as I uh, announced earlier in my in my video. Uh, so now I'm filming my GH5S uh, from my G80 here. I still I haven't touched anything on my APT software. You still see the pre previous frame. Uh, now what I love about the GH5S is it already has a night view mode, so everything is in red, so you can do astrophoto at darks and don't don't mess up with your eyesights. Uh, obviously the GH5S has a um, low low noise. Um, sensor, uh, but that's not the point of this uh, small video here. Uh, so now uh, what I'll do is I disconnect uh, from APT and we'll uh, reconnect to uh, my camera. Uh, so I'll, as I'm doing here, uh, you may, I'll zoom in in here so you can see a bit what's going on on the menu. Okay, if I do autofocus it's a little bit better. So I'll go into menu, uh, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi function, Uh, select from history and connect to the same Wi-Fi home. So now the camera you'll see uh, is connected to the Wi-Fi and will be waiting for orders from uh, a remote app. So it's looking waiting for the remote app to connect. Obviously uh, GH5 has a slightly different menu being a better camera and more recent camera. So now I'll connect to uh, I'll reconnect to uh, the ASCOM driver. So it's important to reconnect uh, from scratch because the IP address has now been changed. So I'll go back into my uh, G80 here. There we go. You can see what's following, uh, following what's happening. Hit the properties, so rediscover the uh, the app on the network. Uh, you see here the, the address is different from what it was before. Is now reading a little more a here effect here on my PC, but uh, uh, reading dot, dot ten IP address, and I'll change now from sixteen to ten megapixel camera, which is what uh, obviously uh, the GH five S is, and not changing anything else from the from the camera setting itself. Hitting OK, and now I'll take a, a shoot from. Um, 
you zoom out. And you see now I have a sheet from a GH5S that just appeared uh, over in Tom. I'll me do another one. So you see the full section. So I'm still doing a once a one second bulb shoot. And now you see uh, uh, changing the um, the angle. I can now. Uh, so one thing that's wrong with the um, GH5S is that it's well, it's not wrong, but it's wrong with the uh, DC RAW as uh, shoots in 14 bits uh, uh, RAW images. So if I now changes the settings to shoot in RAW, I'll still have the same issue I shared earlier, which is a bit longer download. So I'm going now to RAW. You may not see this on your my tiny screen, but just trust me, I'm changing now to RAW. And um, I'll now take a shoot uh, in RAW, and you'll see it's going to take longer to download the file, but uh, also it's uh, going to be a jarbled file because DC RAW is not able to uh, to um, comprehend yet the uh, the 14-bit uh, uh, Panasonic G uh, RW2 uh, format. So. Um, you'll see a bit of noise uh, going on the screen. So for GH5S, I uh, recommend. So there you go. It's uh, you can see here on the screen. It's not too pretty picture here that you that you get. Uh, therefore, I uh, recommend on GH5S to s stick with the JPEG file or thumb file if you want a really fast download. There you go. So just uh, showed you how with my simple ASCOM driver you can now connect with multiple um, uh, models of the Lumix uh, Panasonic cameras, um, which um, is a really good camera to get out in the field with a very good sensor, especially the GH5S. Thanks a lot. Bye.